The Opening of the Way by Isha Schwaller de Lubitsch. An amazing, incredible book of hermetic philosophy uh, of ancient Egypt. This one is going to be based on, she's talking about what is the image that we call the self, or actually, what is the image that the self creates, and how do we understand it? This is a short excerpt. Here we go. Listen then, listen unremittingly. Watch the flower open just when it needs the sun. Watch its desire. Watch that in yourself which seeks in order to discover who the seeker is and what you seek. Watch the invisible and slowly your interior vision will open just as your eyes accustom themselves to see in darkness. Our principal resistance is fear of being deceived, of escaping from the control of our intellectual faculties. But one can reply to this that sense perception and false reasoning can also cause delusions. That, however, is part of the world you know, and its verification must be studied elsewhere. For the present, we want to see set ajar a door into a world which you did not know existed within yourself. It has sometimes swung open a little without your knowledge, but that has been more shocking than to open it deliberately. What is the mystery? Have you looked for it in yourself? Stand before a mirror and unveil, if you can, the mystery of your own image. Who is it that's looking at you? Is it yourself? Yourself looking at yourself? No. It is the reflection, and reflections are an effect of light and shadow on something which reflects light projected on it, or rather, which projects itself by stopping the light. And what are you yourself? Light? Shadow? Or thing? Of what light are you the shadow? Of what forces are you the form? Of what are you the projection? Observe your reflection and the contour of your body, which apparently delimits your life. That the body is the thing for which you do everything. For it you will your daily life. For it you work. For it you love. For it you fear. And you struggle to preserve its physical life to satisfy its senses, tastes, and appetites. Look at it. Has it ever told you who it is? Or what it will give you for all of your trouble? Ask it. Try to extort their secret from those eyes which express so little of the struggle of a soul which is your own. Discover their meaning if you can.